This is for those of you that grew up with a narcissistic, emotionally immature or unavailable parent or parents and you got money and or business issues, right? So we know that sometimes we subconsciously punish them for the way that they have not shown up for this, the way that they don't, you know, support us, right? We also do that to ourselves. And this is very specific to getting told over and over again when you're younger that you're selfish, that you want too much or blamed for things not going wrong are going wrong in your household, right? Maybe there was food insecurity, housing insecurity, stuff like that. I experienced that, so hello. This is also my wound. Um, but you heard those types of things, and you heard over and over again that you wanted too much, you got blamed for things, you were told you were selfish, you felt bad. So we keep this fear of being selfish in the back of our head. We keep this fear of wanting for too much in the back of our head. And how I will see that show up is one, in situations where we have opportunities for more business success, for my financial success, we'll get an opportunity come in and then we will kind of shit the bed on it, right? We will somehow unconsciously sabotage it or we won't follow through with it because in the background of our mind, there's this belief that one, we're not good enough, but also that we will be selfish if we have more, right? If we are doing better. So we don't let ourselves have those things. This is often where we'll see our income like go up and down, right? We're suddenly like, we'll be earning more money and we we want that, you know, we'll ha suddenly have more money come in or like, you know, some random amount of money, whatever. And then all of a sudden our finances dip below even what we're normally used to the next month. And yes, there's of course a whole bunch of societal issues and systemic issues with all this shit, but this is where those things come in in the background of our mind to be like, no, 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 you had too much. You don't get to have that. So in some way we'll drop off. Maybe again, if you own a business, you stop promoting the next month or you shut down and you just can't make yourself do the things you need to do or take the opportunities that are available to you to move forward. The other thing I see happen is anytime there is an opportunity for us to provide for ourselves, right? Do something nice for ourselves. Even if something as simple as like, getting a haircut, getting a new piece of clothing, a book. Um, I have freaked out about literally buying myself a, a pack of tarot cards, new ones, and gotten so much anxiety. And I, I know if you know this, like you feel the anxiety when it comes to buying something for yourself or, or purchasing something for yourself, no matter how small it is. Because in the background of your mind, there's that voice of like, you can't have this. And yes, there'll be like, they, well, you can't really spend money on that right now. Even though like you'll spend money in some other way, but it's it's more to do with that fear of being seen as selfish. So we cannot have things directly for ourselves. There was a moment when my own daughter like looked at me and says, mom, you deserve to have things for yourself. And it was like, shit. I've been carrying that fear and belief for so long and worried about my daughter even seeing it, except my daughter sees the truth and they're like, wait, mom you get to have things for yourself. So baby, I love you. Um, but like those moments pop up, right? Where we are constantly letting ourselves struggle. If this resonates with you, what I want you to do is really take a pause in those moments and ask yourself, am I truly selfish or am I providing for myself? Am I providing for my future? And will this benefit not just me, but the people around me? Because to try to just be okay with doing for ourselves right up front usually doesn't work. We need to kind of like edge into that by also remembering that, you know, if we are responsible for other people in our lives, whether family members or, um, you know, partners or even animals, right? If you have fur babies, right? Obviously having stable finances allows you to care for all of them too. Um, or doing things for people. If you're like me and you are literally in the business of helping other people, if I don't promote what I do, if I don't put my work out there to support people, I can't support people, which means I'm not helping them. I'm not doing the thing that I'm in purpose of. That is not selfish at all. And yes, it's okay sometimes to be selfish. It is okay when it's for the purpose of taking care of yourself, setting boundaries. The other thing to keep in mind in those moments, usually the people telling you this are the most selfish, self-centered people in the world because again, everything is about them. 
and they don't care at the cost of others. So if this resonates with you, make sure you're following. Also, I have an entire course on this starting in January called Money Magic, where we're literally going to dive into these wounds because, hello, I have them too. And I want you to not deal with them. It sucks, but I hope this helps.